right, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwatash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Shalom, to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching in the highways and bowies in sincerity and in truth, Shalom, Barakatam. And you just saw this video, man. It's very, uh, it's very disturbing. You know, it doesn't kind of seem like it at first glance, but when you really think about it, uh, this place is is through, man. Do you do you see the lack of faith that these women have, you know, regarding the the whole monkey business? And they're basically openly saying, "I don't give a damn what's in it. I want it. I'm taking it." All right. That means if you got a baby mother, all right, and 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 uh, she's got custody at all of your of your seed you know you're you're, you're facing a, a very heavy you know <laughs> dilemma there you know that's why the scriptures speak about the hour of temptation and you can clearly see these women are not built at all to take it man they're not built at all to get the victory that's why the scriptures say you know women will be saved through through childbearing but really it's through the faith of the man it's not because these women have all of this integrity, man. Now, you got to realize that we've had generations and generations of women like this raising men. So many of the men that you see that all these hyper emotional males you see walking around, you know, and are just in a very weak, docile spirit. Those men are going to have the same energy. All right. Look, look at how quick they are to trust in Esau, man. Look. This is, this is, this is proof that we're going to have a very heavy trial on our hands, man. Now, when, when this thing hits the fan, these women, they're going to, they're going to, uh, they're going to rat you out, man. You know, if certain things begin to be, to be you know, mandated and all of these things, they're going to, they're going to do it, man. No ifs, ands, or buts. Now look at what she said. This is, this is, this dumb bitch. She, she's, she's basically saying that she knows what's up. What, what Esau would call a conspiracy theory, you know, she's talking about, I don't care if it's got a Karagma or a 5G in it. It, 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 it she's, she's like, give it to me because that Ill, that illness scared them. Now I'll, I'll admit, man, when you see people who got who got it, <laughs> they, they they fucked up, man. You talk about people with excruciating pain. Sometimes it's all over their face, all over their bodies. In some cases, all right. And what's going to be a real real test, you know, Akim, especially for your younger brothers listening, man, where you have to fortify your faith is if Esau gets a way to somehow get this thing uh, in the air. All right, where it can just spread around like the Vidi, like he got the Vidi did for the last two years. <laughs> you know, if he if he gets that man, that's that's one that's going to be a major, major pestilence. All right. And we know that that these things like this are prophesied, but we know that you have a how a shy got us, man. It, it's going to be times like these where the Lord is going to have to lift up that standard and those powers are going to come, man. You know. And, and 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 miraculous interventions through through the angels, man. All right, because the the woman she's not on our side, man. You you're through if you got to trust in this woman. She's not rational at all. She has no faith. You know, one of them he zoomed in, I believe, on it. You know, she's got a she's got a head wrap. Like, no, like I'll be first in line. Now, what do you think is going to happen when the karagma sets in, man? When the people can't eat, can't go to grocery stores? They're going to go right to Esau, man. All right? Now, this should be a wake-up sign for a lot of you brothers, man. Especially you who, who got your woman dictating the decisions that you make. You know? Even if it's not directly, she's not directly telling you to do something. But you kind of move in a scarcity mindset in the sense that you're worried about what she's going to say, what she's going to do. If you're in that spirit, man, you're through. All right. You got to realize that a lot of the people that even so-called family members, people that we love, they're, they're going to just abandon us, man. When, when they get threatened 
they're going to forsake everything just so they can live. And they don't care what the cost is. They don't care if it's a slap in the face of the most high. They don't care. They could have been in the truth for years. This is Esau's going to hit them with this and it's going to be a wrap. All right. But let me get some precepts here, man. So I'm not rambling on too long. So lock you. Um, I'm going to go to the first one. Isaiah 30. Um, it says, uh, verse 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children. All right. Say it, the Lord, how that take counsel, but not of me, that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to do this so they can go back to normal. All right. This, this happened two years ago. Esau already ran an experiment on you people, man. And you fell for it. The vast majority of you people fell for it. You panicked. All right. You didn't want to lose your job. You were scared. You, you were scared you can't go to go to clubs and, and, and outings. And what did you do? All right. All so you can just continue to be wicked. You didn't want to keep your job so you could uh, uh, support brothers. You wanted to keep your job so you can still uh, sit on your ass and, and order DoorDash, man. All right. You wanted to keep your job so you could so you could still be comfortable. All right. So you can still brag that you make more than a man. That's that's why you. That's why you went to take keep the. Uh, that's why you took the thing so you could keep your job, man. And, and it's all vanity, and the Lord's gonna show that it's all vanity. Because you're gonna trust in Him, and He's gonna, he, He's not to be trusted. You're gonna trust in Him, He's gonna betray you. I'm gonna get that, man. This is uh, verse two, that walk to go down in Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. This this goes for all of this the, this. Robot NPC behavior and NPC is a video game term for non-playable character like background characters that just do Whatever the game program to do. They have no sense of uh, Adventure they have no control. They, they just they just They're just bots man, you know That that's the majority of people man you go up you go up there you vote You know you get on you get on Twitter and social media and 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 try to castigate people for, for thinking differently than you, just for having a different opinion, all right? You, you take experimental offerings that Esau offers you, saying it's gonna save your life when you know he's the devil. All right? When, 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 he, offered, when he offered Gad, the so-called Native Americans, blankets, what, what did they have on the blankets, man? You know, it says, therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust and the shadow of Egypt be your confusion, man. All right. So the destruction is going to come for trusting in this guy, man. You know, I'm going to go to uh, an example here because our people have been in that, that bitch ass spirit over and over and over again, man. One, when we came out of Egypt, they wanted to go back into Egypt. Oh, it's it's too it's too tough out here in the wilderness, and we gotta live in tents and 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 and, and niggas niggas just complaining, man. They just saw the 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 a, a ridiculous display of rapid miracles. All of the plagues hit this place. They see a giant chariot over their head, leading and guiding us, man. The you know Moses is doing miracles in the wilderness. I mean, he's making water out of stone. All right, he he he's he's uh he he he's changing the uh. Uh, he's protecting you from snakes, you know, out there. You can look up the account and and, and actually this man. And, and what would niggas on, man? I we want to go back, man. For what? Why would you want to go back to a place that the Lord completely destroyed before your eyes? You know, this is Jeremiah forty six. You, you know, I fucking hate you, niggas, man. Man, and, and you niggas in this spirit of protecting these 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 uh these women that 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 are, have no virtue at all in them, they don't care. They have no. They don't have integrity. They're not gonna stick up for you in the time of battle because they're not designed to, man. All right. But they'll but they'll claim to do it in times of prosperity. But in times of adversity, watch what happens. They claim to be as strong and independent in the times of prosperity, but watch what happens in times of adversity, man. Watch. And 
And we're going to we're going to enjoy watching judgment. The scriptures say he, the Lord's going to can pour out judgment like a river, man. All right. Jeremiah 46 and 25, the Lord Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel said, behold, I will punish the multitude of Noah and Pharaoh and Egypt with their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh and all them that trust in him, man. That's you niggas, man. You're going to be part. You're going to take partake in the, in the judgment of Egypt, which the Lord ha, 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 is, is against, man. All right. It says, and I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives. All right. Then now. There came a time where Jake was scared. I want to I want to go back, to, you know, in, in Egypt. And, and and that's the spirit that you're in now. I want to go and see what 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 what. Uh, what these pharmaceutical companies have. I, I want to I'm going to take it. One which said, I don't care if, it, if it's if it's hair on. I'm, I'm taking it. You they seek their lives that badly because these they, they really have nothing inside of them. There's no sustenance, man. There's no spirit. There's no breath in them. All right. They're bad. That's why the, the scriptures liken them unto dead people, man. You know. There, there's nothing that they can hold on to, man. So when when. When adversity comes, they they're gonna immediately be carnal. They're not gonna see the bigger picture. There's nothing that they're willing. They have no code. There's nothing they're willing to die for. So so they're gonna they're gonna severely compromise them, themselves, their families, their kids. Okay, even if it's your seed. All right, a lot of brothers, you got to get ready to cut family off, man, and some of these women off because they've already been tried. Esau already knows he got them. All he's got to do is bring in the right, you know, outbreak, and 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 that's a wrap. All he's got to do is let let the food chains dry up, and 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 famine start going on, and then that's a wrap. These people are gonna take the Karagwe, they're gonna take everything he's got to offer, man, because they seek to save their lives, man. All right, he says, and into he says, and I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives, and into the hand of. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of his servants. All right, because because they they seek your life. That's what this whole thing is about, man. All right, they're using the fact that you seek your life. All right, and they're and they're and using witchcraft to morph it against you. All right, so they because they seek your life, and that goes. It all goes back to that. Pharaoh and all them that trust in him, man. You know, it says, and into the hand of his servants, and afterwards it shall be inhabited as in the days of old. But fear not, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. And this really is a testament to the elect right here. It says, for behold, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. So the elect are going to hold out. They're going to have faith. All right. Even in the face of danger. In the face of death, the scriptures say he's reserved 7,000 men that will not bow the knee or bend the knee or bow to the image of all man. All right. It says, and Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease and none shall make him afraid. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord Jehovah, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee, man. All right. So this this is this is a, a end time prophecy, man. All right. It's not talking about the actual king of Babylon. OK. Or, 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 or the actual empire of Babylon. When you read down, you see I'm going to make a full end of all nations, whether I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee. But correct thee in measure, yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. So that's basically saying we're going to have to pay a price for what we did. We went through that in shadow slavery. All right. We went we went through, you know, Jim Crow. We went through a lot of, 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 of heartache, man. The elect went through that, too, man. For the sins of our entire nation. But the Lord says he's going to he's going to uh, save us from afar, man. So it's talking about this time, man. And and the king of Nebuchadnezzar, the, the king Nebuchadnezzar of today, and 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 Babylon that represents Esau, all right, who's in rulership right now, who seeks our lives, and he's gonna play on the fact that you seek your life. 
See, that's why the scriptures say those who seek their lives shall save it. Let's fucking uh, go right to it. Um, I forget where it is, Salakia. So Yep, Luke 17 and 33. It says, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. All right? And that's what Esau's banking on. Esau knows the scriptures, man. And he seeks your life. He's, he knows that these women are going to be openly before it, even, before it even gets real. Mind you, nothing's happened yet. Really. But just the threat of it. They're already ready to, to make a deal with Satan, man. <laughs> you see? Look. Look, not even pr proved like, like that, that, that's, that's wild, man. How, how he, he, he already got the witchcraft is already, the spell is already in full effect, man. Ridiculous, man. But it says, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it, man. And we're already done, man. I'm already, I'm already over this life. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. There's days, you know, not to sound, you know, uh, you know, carnal or, or, you know, or, uh, or overly uh, heavy, you know. But there's days, man. I'm ready to give up the spirit, man. I'm just, I'm just tired of this fucking place, man. There's nothing, even the pleasures of this place is just, it, it, it's not worth living for, man. It's not, you know, if the Lord didn't give me the truth, man, like I, I don't know, my, I, I would be completely bugged out, man. Because when you see the world and how wicked it is, man, that's why the scriptures say, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. All right. The only thing keeping us together, man, is, is the knowledge of this truth. And that's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, man. And it's just gotten started. It, it, we're about to really see the horns come off this devil, man. Now, we have a little bit more foresight because we're in a spirit where we're prophesying. We watch a little bit more. We, we, we know vastly more than the majority of people. All right. We're light years ahead, so to speak, between the majority of people. But even we haven't seen but a fraction of this guy's wickedness, man. It, it's getting ready to be revealed. And it's not just going to be revealed to us. The whole world's going to see it, man. The scriptures speak about Esau being uncovered, being made bare. All right. Everyone's going to see it. And when that happens, all hell's going to break loose, man. We're going to be the high value men at that point, which we already are. But our value is going to be realized in that moment. You're going to see who these weak at. It's not it's not the, the tall six, four nigga with dreads. All right. Those aren't the high value men of society. But, the, but who do you see people flocking to now? You know? Last precept here, man. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go backwards a little bit. Maybe I should have read this precept first, but I'm going to go to Jeremiah 42. Um, I'm going to start at uh, 13. It says, but if ye say we will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord Jehovah, your power, saying no, but we will go into the land of Egypt where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of trumpet, nor have hunger of bread. And there we will dwell. Now, that's the spirit that Jake is in, man. You don't want to. The land in this scenario represents uh, uh, being a part of the hopeful elect, being of being under a covering, man, of salvation. But it, but it's too hard, just like it was back in the days of Egypt when we had to dwell in, in the whole region. We were out there that long because you were being niggas the whole time, man. And that's the only reason the wilderness was even difficult. That that shouldn't have been a 40 year journey, man. I can't believe, I remember how long it's supposed to take. But man, we, we, we should have been there in maybe six months, maybe walking on foot, man. But 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 Jake, he as soon as he got out of there, man. What did he start? He started going towards idols. He started started looking back very symbolically of, of what Lot did. 
Lot's wife did. So Lot, you're not Lot. Lot was righteous. But Lot's wife, what did she do? She looked back on something that the Lord said, I'm against and I'm destroying it. And she looked back. That's what Jake did coming out of Egypt, man. The Lord completely uh, 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 fucked Egypt up. And what did you have? Jake still wanting to go back, man. All right. Just a rebellious. That's that's the same spirit. Now, you would tell Jake or, or you know, all of these women that this guy is the cause of it all. Now, how much you want to bet this whole thing that they're afraid of it, is it was created. It, 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 it's some it's some nigga in a white coat with glasses on, you know, with, 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 with a uh, with a Bunsen burner and a beaker stirring up shit, man. And now it's out there in the public. The video is the same thing. You know? Now, this, this he, you tell him he's he's the root cause. He, he's the one who caused it to begin with. But they, they'll block that out and say, no, I need to actually go to him for the solution. Well... There's no there's no scenario where he's going to help you, man, where he's not going to give his give himself a leg up, man. How are you going to go to the guy for a solution that is caused the problem and is actively causing the problem? Let me go back, man, to Jeremiah 42. Um, start at 14 again, saying, no, but we will go into the land of Egypt where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet nor have hunger of bread, and there we will dwell. And now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord Jehovah, ye remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel. If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and go to so sojourn, sojourn there, and that's what these women are doing, man. They, they've wholly set their faces, and, and they've hinged their bets to go back into, into Egypt, man, in their minds, okay? You got to remember that that Jeremiah did not pro did not live at the time of, of Egypt ruling as an empire. So, you know, a lot of this is, is symbolic. Nor did Egypt come to pass, or, or nor did Egypt, the physical, actual Hamites, come back into rulership ever again. So this isn't talking about the actual Egyptian empire. This is talking about a different one. All right. And it's talking about a spirit that our people would be in, a very rebellious one. All right. And we know that that America is is called uh, spiritually Sodom in Egypt. All right. It's also called Babylon. It's Ur of the Chaldees. All right. It, it goes by the, the land of the north. All right. Sometimes it's called Assyria. America is called various things, you know, Um it says, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you in the land of Egypt. So the very thing you were worried about, like, and that's perfect scriptures, man, because the scriptures say the day of the Lord is, is like a man that fleed from a, from, a, uh, from a lion and run into a bear, roughly paraphrasing. So you're going to run from one mischief right into another one, man. You know, you're going to think you're running away and getting a break for something, but there's going to be something else waiting for your ass, man. And this is written. So you're gonna take the take the sauce, thinking you're thinking you're safe because you so because you feared that so much over your Hawa Bashim Yahweh Shai. And then the sword's gonna hit your ass, man. Alright? It says, then it shall then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye fear shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt and and the famine. So the famine's gonna hit you if the sword don't get you. It says, whereof ye were afraid, all right, shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die, okay? So, brothers, they, we, these women are not to be even considered if they're, if they're in this spirit, man. And you just got to be ready to, to forsake those things, man. It's easier said than done, I get it, you know, but we got to prepare our minds, all right, to be tried, man. And in a lot of ways, a lot of us brothers are going to be tribe managed through our women. All right. It says, so shall it says, so shall it be with all men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there, man. So there's going to be a lot of men too doing it. 
the only men that are going to have the glow, that are going to have the, the, the wisdom and, the, and that stability and that, that, that robust calmness is going to be so attractive to women in that day because we're, we're not going to be bothered by anything. We're not going to be plagued by anything. We're, gonna, we're not even going to have to worry about food in this time because we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's going to be so popular, man. That we're, we're, that's why the scriptures say he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. And that man he's talking about are the men that's not bugging the hell out. All right. Standing in line to get to get, you know, monkey sauce, man. That that's not that's not masculine. The women, the women are going to see you and, and, and think you you just as much of a bitch as I am. <laughs> OK. And, and when and when push comes to shove. All right. They're, when they see you and they see us, it's going to be no question on who they want to side with. Now, that that's what Isaiah four and one is about, man. All right. Second Ezra's the 16th chapter talks about the, the, the bridegrooms being being uh, being either gone to war or just put down, man. All right. It says they shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. So you're still going to die of pestilence, man. All right. It says, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them, man. None of you. Because you're wicked, man. All right. Wow, man. Get ready, brothers. You know, we're, we're in those times, you know. So I'll end it there, man. Hopefully, you brothers were edified. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rachakwadash Wa Ababa Babal Shalom.